Musics are gates through which one can assess the spiritual world. In this video, you will get to know the dangers of listening to secular songs. Welcome to Chalam Channel. It is the best place to be. A place where you are promised the undiluted word of God and the edification you need to build up your faith much more in Jesus Christ who is Lord. Good to have you joining in today's episode, Dangers of Listening to Worldly Song. In case you are new to this soul lifting channel, don't forget to tap that subscribe button, like and share. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Colossians 3, 16. Colossians 3, 16. Everybody loves songs. In fact, it will be very difficult to meet a person who bitterly hates songs in this world. There are many reasons why a lot of people love to listen or sing songs. Some people just want to be entertained while others want motivation. Currently, there are two major types of songs that are ruling over our world today and they are gospel and secular songs. Gospel songs speaks plainly about the love of Christ, his grace, mercy, wonders, power, and salvation, which can be presented in a form of worship and praise unto God. So any song that does the opposite of this is a secular song or worldly music. In this dispensation, the vast majority of secular songs are full of lust, lack of morality, and uneducative. Listening to worldly music can be very dangerous, especially when you are a Christian or a child of God. It's never advisable at all for a child of God to listen to a secular song because most of such songs are very demonic and they can ruin your spiritual life as a Christian. You can carry a demonic presence when you listen to worldly music. Most secular artists are into secret societies. They gain inspiration from the deities they worship. So singing their songs attract a demonic presence which will eventually suck your attention from God. One will start experiencing intense lust, disappointments, spiritual marriages, fear, sexually immoral dreams, failure, and nightmares when you immerse yourself in worldly music. The Holy Spirit and the angels of God departs from that person's life because his or her interest will instantly be switched away from God, therefore exposing oneself to be tormented by Satan and his agents. Beloved, you can be initiated as you listen to secular music or songs. Countless souls are being initiated into the kingdom of darkness just by embracing the sacrifice of the profane. Don't, under any circumstances, listen to worldly music again. It has driven so many into strained vices, destroyed territories, and shattered families. Paraventure, you have been indulging in it. I would advise you desist from it today. Fill your hearts with the word of Christ. Replace all this worldly music with spiritual songs, hymns, psalms. Beloved, 
the great deceit is coming. It is actually here, whereby listening or singing secular music is socially accepted. Don't be caught up in this lie. Ephesians 5, 16 to 18. Ephesians 5, 16 to 18 says, Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. That is why we are advised in the scriptures to fill our hearts with spiritual songs, with hymns and singing and making melody to the Lord in our hearts, in our homes, in whatever we find ourselves doing. Let it be to the glory and praise of his holy name. And as you do so, I am trusting God that every contrary thing will give way in your life and God will take over where he should be in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. God bless you richly in Jesus' matchless name. Amen.